Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to show you how to configure Huawei Jipon router. I want to configure to a such a way that it's going to act as a bridge. You have to make sure that it's at a default state. How do you do that? There's a reset button here. So you long press it for two minutes. Then when, when you leave it, these lights are going to, they are going to become dim. Then suddenly, you are seeing the, the red light has disappeared together with the green light. Wait for like two minutes. Give it two minutes. So this one is one of the cheapest router to extend your hotspot network. So already it's back. You, you connect your LAN cable to the either port, either LAN 4, LAN 3, LAN 2, or LAN 1. LAN 1. wait a bit until you see another light coming so already i'm seeing lan one it's up so you come to your computer you go to adapter you change internet setting internet and setting then adapter option you come to properties this router it has a static IP address of 192.168.100.1. So, when you are changing your, when you are assigning your computer, you are the static IP. Make sure that you assign an IP address above, above anything to do with above one. So it should be either two. But normally with me, I normally use hundred. So I put there 192, 168, 100, 100. Then click the submask, validate, and OK. Then click OK. Then cancel that one. Close that one. Close it. Then come to come to open the micro Microsoft Edge. Type in the IP 192.168.100.1. Give it like two minutes. So you are seeing it's giving a, as welcome. It's giving us a screen of welcome to Huawei webpage. So the model of that this router is HG8245. Normally, these 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 routers they normally just have the same the same page. So type the IP telecom admin. The password is admin telecom. Login. Then uh, just say OK. Next. This one skip. Return to the page. So, for you to configure this router, you have to and make sure that you have to disable the LAN and also you have to disable the DHCP so that it can act only as a bridge. By bridge, I mean that it acts as a switch. 
So come to advance, then come to learn, then tick. Those learn one, learn two, learn, learn four, and apply. That one I'm disabling all the learn. Then you come to the CP server and tick those one. Then apply. Then from there, you go to your wireless password, the way you want it to be. So with wireless, you come to WLAN. Then change the Wi-Fi the way you want it to be. Like this one, I want it to be Manu Josh Tech. Manu Josh Tech. You can use to extend your network. Let's say that instead of using M2, this router can substitute M2. The only disadvantage with this router is that it's not an outdoor. So you have to find a way of shielding it such that it can adhere to the out, outside environment. So this one, you can come and put it as open. You can select open so that you just leave it so that it can it, it can extract it can instruct your information as per your your server the way they are giving you instruction or you can apply you can change the wps mode to be maybe if you want to put password just select yps preshared key then type in your password but with me i want to leave it open then apply apply okay so it is just as simple as that this one we have configured it to become an hotspot so we to become open so open you can use it as a hotspot network so if i connect if i connect internet cable here i do expect to get internet otherwise thank you Subscribe to my channel and I'll sh I shall be sharing with you more information as it comes.